In this session, we'll look at Euler diagrams to see how they can help us visualize logical arguments. They're easy to do, and they can reveal whether an argument is valid or not. First, let's look at a simple valid argument. This is a logical argument, but is it valid? Euler looked at this and said, let's draw a circle, and inside the circle are animals. Now, all dogs are animals. Puddles is a dog, so dogs belong in the circle of animals. So it seems reasonable to say that Puddles is an animal. Now let's see how an Euler diagram can show that an argument is invalid. I can hear it now. All banana trees have green leaves. That plant has green leaves. So that plant is a banana tree. Is this valid? Well, let's look at it. Can you think of any green leaf trees that are not banana trees? If so, then this argument must be invalid. Calculators use electronic logic to do their work. Let's see how the program logic in your TI-83 can make the work easier. To use the TI-83 program logic, first press the program key, find the program in the displayed list, and press enter. Press enter again to start the program. Press enter to go to the main menu and then select option number three to go to the help. This will remind us that the calculator equivalent of P implies Q is not P or Q and also tells us about how to find the logical operators. Now back to the main menu. We will look at a few propositions with two statements, P and Q. Type alpha P, then second math logic, and press enter to paste and into our proposition. Lastly, alpha Q and then press enter to see the truth table. P and Q is true only when P is true and Q is also true. Now we're going to do P or Q. So enter alpha P second math logic paste or option 2 and lastly we're going to enter alpha Q and we'll press enter to see the truth table P or Q is true if either one is true Now let's do something more interesting. Remember not P or Q is supposed to be the same as P implies Q. Let's try it out in the calculator. Here's what the truth table looks like. Notice it has the same truth values that P implies Q has. Now let's look at De Morgan's laws. First we will negate a conjunction. Not P or Q. This is what the truth table looks like. Now let's look at not P and not Q. It's the same truth values. Now let's consider the proposition not P and Q. First we'll enter it in the calculator. Press enter to see the truth values. Now let's look at not P or not Q. Here's what the truth table looks like. I think you can see they're the same. For those of you who would like to put the program to a real test, I recommend trying example 5 page 149 in mathematical ideas. Now what follows will be the TI-83 version of this example in your text. Remember we're going to replace P implies Q with its calculator version not P or Q and we'll do the problem in two stages.
From the menu, select option 2, P, Q, and R, and then enter the proposition. I'm going to skip a few steps here and jump straight to the proposition. And here is its truth value. If you go on and go to the second column in the example, we get this truth table. You can match them up to see that they agree with the textbook.